A fire at the Kavkaz oil and petroleum storage facility just outside Proltarsk, a town in Russia's Rostov Oblast, was finally extinguished on September 2, the state-run media outlet TASS said, citing emergency services. After the Russians carried out a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Russian Federation has repeatedly complained about strikes on various objects that help the aggressor state carry out aggression against Ukrainians. In particular, on August 18, as a result of a drone attack in Proltarsk, a fire broke out at an oil depot, and it could not be extinguished. On the 23rd, the facility was attacked again by drones. The enemies were able to extinguish the fire in Proltarsk only in early September. The administration of the Proltarsk district reported that the area of the fire was 10,000 square meters, injuring dozens of firefighters and destroying dozens of the site's 74 fuel tanks. The fire has been extinguished, an emergency source told the TASS news agency, adding that firefighters remained on site to monitor for potential flare-ups due to strong winds. Despite this, he notes, fire crews did not leave the scene of the incident, continuing to monitor in case the fire resumed. The calculations are in place now, today they are still looking, let's say, just in case, because there is a strong wind, said the source. This oil depot was one of three oil depots managed by Russia's federal agency for state reserves hit by Ukrainian drones last month. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky praised the strikes, calling them part of the effort to bring a just end to the conflict. Since Moscow launched its full-scale invasion in 2022, Kiev has repeatedly targeted Russian oil and gas facilities, describing the attacks as fair retaliation for Russia's strikes on Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Proltarsk is located some 230 kilometers southeast of the regional capital of Rostov-on-Don and 340 kilometers from the border with the Russian-occupied part of Ukraine's Donetsk Oblast. The authorities of Russia's Kursk region say they will establish a special volunteer unit to maintain law and order in territories that border the areas currently under the control of Ukraine's armed forces, regional governor Alexei Smirnov announced. The unit will be called Bars Kursk. The main function of the unit is to ensure security in eight evacuated districts as well as in other areas of the Kursk region, he wrote on his Telegram channel. He noted that volunteers who sign a contract will undergo training and receive weapons. The contract will be for six months, with their current employment and work schedule preserved. The unit's tasks are not limited to ensuring security, but also include participating in the life support of evacuated areas to help those who remain during this difficult period, Smirnov added. He also said that all actions of the Kursk region volunteers will be coordinated with the army and the so-called counter-terrorist operation headquarters. On August the 6th, Ukraine launched an offensive into Russia's less fortified Kursk region, surprising Moscow and forcing Russian conscripts into battle to try to contain Kyiv's progress. The Kremlin responded by declaring a counter-terrorist operation in the Kursk, Belgorod and Bryansk regions. However, Ukrainian forces have continued their offensive, which shows no signs of slowing down. Since March the 22nd, when the large-scale invasion took place, volunteers have been able to join BARS units for short-term service. BARS units are predominantly light infantry formations, which lack integrated artillery or armoured vehicles, British military intelligence added. Without organic artillery and mechanised assets, these BARS units are essentially light infantry. Thus far in the conflict, Russian military leadership has used such light infantry formations as cannon fodder to attrite Ukrainian resources with little regard for the survival of its own troops. Today there are over 30 BARS units spread across Russia, with a good chunk of them in the western part of the country. The creation of the BARS Kursk Volunteer Unit is almost certainly a Russian response to the Ukrainian incursion into the Russian Kursk Oblast which began on the 6th of August 2024 
British military intelligence stated. It is unlikely that the volunteer unit will be set up and able to support any Russian military activity in Kursk over the next month.